Okay then, so far we've just been working with regex in this online tool, but in reality we want to work with them in our applications, in our JavaScript files. So now, how do we create then a regular expression in JavaScript? Well, there's a couple of ways we can create them and I'll show you both. The first way is going to be the way that we're going to use going forward and is probably the more common way to create a regular expression as well. So first of all, head to your validation.js and what we'll do is we'll store our regular expression in a variable. So then we have access to it later on. So let's create a variable and let's just call this reg for now and set this equal to a regular expression. Now, remember, when we're creating a regular expression on this online tool, it's always contained within these two forward slashes, one at the start and one at the end. Now, that's how we create them as well in JavaScript. Our regular expressions go between two forward slashes like so, okay? So much like a string would be between quotes like this, a regular expression is between two forward slashes, all right? So let's create a little regular expression in here. Say we want to match a range from A to Z, then we can do that. Then obviously this regular expression is gonna match anything like A or B or Y. Oops, I've created some kind of bug thing there, so we don't want that. A or B or Y, etc. So we also saw when we use this online tool that we can use flags. G is the global flag. We also had the I flag, which says it's case insensitive. And if you take a look, they come after the final forward slash. So we can do the same thing over here. If we want this to be global, then we can just type a G there after the trailing forward slash and an I if we want it to be case insensitive or just I. That's entirely up to you. And they don't have to be in any particular order, these flags. They come after though the final forward slash. Now it's important when you're creating a regular expression this way, by the way, the semicolon is just to end the, the statement here in JavaScript. It's not part of the regular expression, but it's important when you're creating them this way, not to put them inside quotations like so. This is not gonna work now. It just becomes a string in JavaScript, okay? We want a regular expression. And you'll know the difference because you'll get this funky color coordinating in a lot of different text editors. I'm using Atom and it has some good color coding for regular expressions. So right here, what we're doing is creating a regular expression to match any letter. Doesn't matter whether it's uppercase or lowercase because we have the I flag from A to Z and it's gonna be a global match as well, meaning we can match more than just one case, okay? So that's how we create a regular expression the first way. And like I said, that's gonna be the way that we're creating them going forward. But I also quickly want to show you how to create them the other way, just in case you come across them in other people's code or if you prefer to make them this way. So let's go down a couple of lines and create another variable. I'll just call this reg2 and set that equal to our new regular expression. And the other way to do it is by saying new and then the capital reg and then a capital E XP. So this is gonna create a new regular expression for us. And this takes two parameters. The first parameter is gonna be the actual regular expression. So let's just copy that and paste it in here. So that's the regular expression itself. Then the second parameter is gonna be a string of flags. So for example, the I flag would make this case insensitive or the G flag would make this a global match. So if we do an I, it means that this is gonna be case insensitive right here. So they're the two different ways we can create regular expressions. Again, I just prefer this way. It's easier on the I, less characters to write, and I think more people probably use this way than they do this way down here. So it's up to you, but we're gonna be using this way.